So here we come up to the river, the Yariti River, and uh, towards the main uh, Invercargill Queenstown Highway. Still sitting at the back of this group of six, Jeremy Venel, looking comfortable, looking poised. He'll probably think he's in for this for the win here in this stage. It's an interesting finish, this one. As we come into Lumsden, we do almost a loop of the town and then come back towards the way we've just travelled in. A little confusing, but you'll see how it works. And uh, for those that have done it before, they'll know exactly where to position themselves. So a bloke like Andy Bassick, for instance, uh, it'll be a bit of a mystery to him. A bit of cat and mouse going on there too, John. It's just close enough for uh, people to start getting a bit cagey and uh, miss a few turns, and that that will always weigh on the minds of the non-sprinters. So they'll be trying to trying to get off the front and uh, and score from there. Well, there's not a great gap between these guys and the peloton, so they can't muck around too much. It's only around about 30 seconds at this stage. As someone's left some cones in the middle of the road, that'll be interesting. Now here is the peloton. They've just uh, come up to the bridge and heading towards that same turn we've just been up to. So looks like Jason Allen. No, nope, it's rider number three. That's Sam Bewley giving Sam, it heaps. Sam Bewley and Jason Allen. They're like twins, really. They're both about the same size. And, um, yeah, I'm sure that they're able to swap each other's clothes around. <laughs> Two kilometres to Lumsden, according to the road signs. Although we might have a little bit more than that because of the loop we do around the town. Bassett just taking a drink. Venel still on the back. Scott Little in the black in front of him as George Bennett goes through for a turn. George Bennett, he's only a little fellow, he was a bit worried about that wind, getting ridden off his bike by the wind. Yeah, it's a, it's a wee descent into uh, Lumsden here, so they'll, they'll cop a wee break and, um, and, and as they come down into Lumsden, then they've got a wee block to contend with until the sprint. So Paul Odlin tucked up at the back now, sitting on Jeremy Venel's wheel, or trying to get on Jeremy Venel's wheel on this uh, last little downhill before the finish. Yeah, there'll be a bit of positioning, a bit of stretching going on, um, and then they'll be looking to, to knock it up in the sprint. Heading towards that same hill, here is the peloton, and nothing changes. Called Stewart on the front, riding in support of Hayden Ralston in the yellow jersey, who's tucked in behind them. In the black shorts with the white band around them, called a Stewart. Easy way to pick him out. As the front group now, they're down to about 25 seconds, so there's been no... Not too much cat and mouse going on, but it will be important to know whose wheel to sit on as you head in towards that last corner. Well, because they were so close in the prologue, there's, there's a few riders in there that have got a chance of taking the yellow as well, so that's probably why they're riding so hard on the front. But, yeah, here's Big Sam really getting stuck into it. And Gordon McCauley on his wheel. Back there just a little bit further, I see Jeremy Vinnell for share... The, I beg your pardon, Jeremy Yates for share the road. But Sam Bewley giving it heaps... And now Jeremy Venel making an appearance as we cut back and he's getting up onto Paul Odlin's wheel, sitting at the back, Scott Little. Not a climber, Scott Little, to be fair. Oh, oh not a big pun, not a sprinter. No, but, uh, you know, he's a cagey bike rider. He's raced in Europe, he's raced in America. He knows what to do to win a bike race, so he'll just be uh, just looking after himself just before the final sprint. George Bennett also in the same boat. He's also known as a climber has a reputation as such. Andy Bassick are totally unknown to all of us, so we don't know what he can do in the finish. But at the front, Paul Odlin for Subway, Clinton Avery, and George Bennett chancing his arm on the outside. Look at those elbows poking out. Yeah, there'll be a, there'll be a bit of uh, nervous energy um, going through them at the moment, but you know, Clinton Avery's done a lot of work on the front. That may have dulled his sprint somewhat. My money's on Venal, I think. So here we go. This is the final block. We're about a kilometre away from the finish line here as we're in Lumsden now, past the old hotel, the Peloton powering its way on the wheel of Mark Ryan now and uh, looks like Brett Tivers on his wheel. Here we go. Here's the 1K to go, Mark. A little bit of cat and mouse as we head up. We'll go around that corner in the distance and head on down the finishing straight and the, def the winner will be decided of this stage and maybe we might see even see a change in the tour leader. And here come the peloton. They are chasing hard, and that gap is getting down to about 20 seconds now. So they better be careful because Mark Ryan is at the front, and the man who's known as the best number three in a team pursuit in the world is giving it absolutely everything. We make the final turn. George Bennett is on the front with 500 metres to go. Clinton Avery is on his wheel. Paul Odlin in the subway jersey is next. And look out for Jeremy Vennel flitching over, flicking over on this side of the road. He might get jammed up here as they head towards the uh, barriers on the, on the right-hand side. But George Bennett 
He's going to make it a long one if he can. He goes to the front. He's starting to wind it up. Andy Bassick for Southland Times in the Maroon. He's the one to keep an eye on. We don't know anything about him. What can he do? And here goes Clinton Avery. He's going to open it up. Gets his head down. Gets out of his saddle. And he's just going to give it absolutely everything down the straight. So it's Clinton Avery going away. Clinton Avery from Paul Odlin. Clinton Avery, Paul Odland, and in third place on the line, it looks like it's going to be Scott Little from Jeremy Venel. But Clinton Avery is our stage winner here in Lumsden. George Bennett attacked, and uh, judging by the form he had in the last of the season, I, I kind of figured that's probably a bit dangerous with the tailwind, so uh, I jumped across to it, and yeah, we, we rolled away. How hard was it in that um, headwind all day trying to chase that breakaway? Um, for us not too bad because we had Aaron Strong in the front group so we didn't have to do a lot but uh, I can imagine for those quarter Stewart boys it was a pretty tough day. What about GC now? You find yourself uh, looking pretty good maybe? Uh, no, nah, we had a bit of a hiccup in the TT yesterday but uh, I'll just try and whittle back in that, that uh, time difference and see what happens. So you're pretty stoked to take this win into Lumsden though? Well after last year and trying so hard to get the win uh, and not quite succeeding uh, and being second here last year, I, I kind of was pretty stoked to take it this time. So Clinton Avery of Ascot Park Hotel forces the move into Mossburn, then wins the sprint into Lumsden. He's followed closely by Paul Odlin, and then it's Scott Little, Jeremy Venel, and Andy Bazick. It was pretty brutal. That win was that win was just relentless, really. It just didn't matter what how you felt. I think the, it's going to take it out of you. Yeah, if you're in the front or at the back, it's going to be it's going to be it's going to count later in the week. I think. Yeah. You're in the polka dot jersey now, was that your plan from the beginning of the day? No, it sort of went into it quite open, we've got a few good riders in our team, a few, uh, few guns, so I thought we'll just, we'll just see what happens and then play it on the road, and, and it just how happened, I was in the, in the break, so, so the team sort of delegated me to go and get, it, get the points, so yeah, it was good. Uh, today was one of the hardest days I've, I've had um, in Southland, because it was just straight block headwind into, into our faces, and we had Jason uh, Allen and Jason Christie working there at the start, and then was, we realised that they were getting tired pretty quickly and we threw in uh, Sam Bewley there and I threw myself in there towards the finish as well, up and out. And it just got tough and and we were looking like it was going to be uh, one of those days where we lose the jersey because uh, the, the gap went out so far and the wind wasn't paying in our, in our favour, it was just straight in our faces and everyone else got a free sit behind us and was quite happy to let us do all the hard, hard work and then luckily the wind swung around and we had... Uh, the other team step up because they can't sit in the back anymore so that was really good. The breakaway finishes 20 seconds ahead which is enough to put Jeremy Vennell in the yellow jersey. Paul Odlin's there in second, Scott Little then Clinton Avery followed by this morning's yellow jersey Hayden Ralston. After the first stage Joe Chapman leads the King of the Mountains, Chris Massick leads the sprint ace classification and young George Bennett leads the under 23. And of course there's Jeremy Vennell putting on his yellow jersey.